Her place was in a four ward room called the kitchen. Broken dishes were the order of the day and she had mastered the various scents of the dish washing liquids she used to scrub the dirt away. In this kitchen, she was just a chef, a master of recipes and a knowledgeable spice expert. Her opinions landed on kitchen counters, her performances for the pots and pans, and her creativity brought down to the level of only determining their amounts of salt and spice. And a shallow-minded person went ahead and called the kitchen her place. They could not see beyond the chores that this place birthed happy, magical meals that could not only satiate hunger but could feed even a generation. Still, they said, her specialty is cookery. Who said that documentation lives in the same room? But you see, her place was not at home. Battling cramps to nursing period flows or wiping blood off flows. Neither was her place at home. Being the chief in administering first aid or passing a band-aid to who needed it first, it was always a crusade. Her place was not to co-parent an adult whose parents could not teach real life lessons or basic mannerisms on how to co-exist. This one they gave to her and called him husband. Her place was not to seduce, to arouse or satisfy the sexual appetite of another human, to stay enslaved and answer morning glory calls and be blamed for the outcomes or actions and reactions of a penis. Her place was not in the fellowship of women who taught her traditional scriptures, home management systems or behaviorisms which did not exist in universities because they were just common myths and beliefs. Her place was not of a bed warmer, a stress reliever or a horny man's entertainer because everything she carried on her body were interconnected parts and there inside of her they lived a heart. So yes, sometimes she fought the wrong battles. For the times, she fought for her presence to stay subtle. And her biggest mistake was to fight for equality because women had already attained an unbeatable level of superiority. You ask about her place? Her place is on a million feet up on a throne of stone. So without feeling like an object, can you let a woman walk in an era where women and tools but a people too? She is unstoppable. She stands unbeatable. And as unadmittable as it is, she is queen. And her place, her place is on top.